Hello, my beautiful Leo pride. I am so excited to be hanging out with my fellow Leos, checking in with our energy, exploring this super potent month of March. I missed you all. I took February off from the 12 sign reading, so it feels so good to be back. Um, so, so good to be back. And especially because March is, it feels so important to me. It's the end of the astrological year, the Western astrological year, when we hit the equinox on the 20th and we shift from Pisces into Aries season. So this month is always such a powerful, potent month, I think for checking in. And I'm a huge fan of checking in with how we're doing on equinoxes. Equinoxes for me are all about rebalancing, checking in, noticing, not only that, but Pisces season this year is just packed with Piscean energy. We have obviously the sun moving through, this potent new moon in Pisces moving through. We have Jupiter moving through Pisces this year, which this is only happens like every 12 years or so that we have Jupiter moving through Pisces during Pisces season. Um and just moving through Jupiter, Pisces at all. We have Neptune moving through Pisces, Mercury moving through Pisces. So we are amplifying the watery Piscean wisdom. Now for you Leos, this is about transformation. And this is about shedding a skin. This is about releasing. Um, the way I like to think about energy like this is like any, we might be wearing a really, really heavy cloak, right? And the cloak at one point might have kept us warm. It might have been a really sentimental thing on the journey. It might have been awesome. But at this point, we are it is we are carrying it around. It no longer fits. It's getting kind of ratty. We need to just like unclasp it and let it off our shoulders, right? So this month is going to be about that for you. And the thing with March and Pisces season in general this year, so the first three weeks of March, this is about for the collective, honestly, about coming to peace and grace with how we handled the last couple of years, what, how, you know, what, how we went through it, what we did with it and letting go a little bit because we're not going to go back and repeat it and fix it. Right. We, we need to just find some grace and the message that came up, it came up so clear for Leo and as a Leo myself with plenty of energy in Leo, I'm going to take this message to heart myself and be working with it. Um, we have to practice. So Pisces season this year is going to be inviting us to practice letting go of control around our transformation, letting go of clenching on to what we feel like we need to keep the same or we need to hold tightly onto. And each of us is going to have a different, you know, map of what exactly that is, what those ingredients are. But when this message came through, it just was like a light bulb came on for me because I was thinking about when we feel like clenched and holding on. Um, I just went through a big personal move, like huge. I moved countries. And so I was sitting with this a lot. Um, I'd noticed there'd be something that really means a lot to me, you know, a certain group of friends or a certain routine or ritual. I got really hooked. I got really focused on having like a specific type of donut for a life. And I'm like, if I don't get this donut, I, when am I ever going to have this donut again? I mean, it was really... <laughs> A little over the top, right? Um, but it was really interesting to watch myself because I realized the predominant emotion that I was feeling when I was just longing for that donut and I just wanted it, things to be a certain way and I had this idea of how I wanted the last two weeks of this to go and the first week of this to go, whatever. The predominant thing I was feeling was the holding on. I wasn't feeling enjoyment of the thing that I was experiencing in that moment. I wasn't even experiencing necessarily like sadness or depression or any of those. I wasn't processing through legitimate emotions. I was just, the predominant thing I was experiencing was the clenching, was the holding on, was the tightness. And that was actually what I was experiencing in those moments. And that really like, and that's what I'm talking about here. So in Pisces season this year, my Leo beauties, my best friends, my pride, my, 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 I don't know, my fellows, my companions in this, in this life and the things that we go through. 
it's all about just noticing if there's a moment, right? Where you feel like you wanted to do something perfectly and maybe like it came out a little awkward or you wanted the week to represent this or that, or those moments when, you know, you want to have control of the day and then suddenly five other things happen and it doesn't go the way you expected. Wherever there's a moment where you, you're like, mm, I just want to tighten up. I just want to make this right. I just want to do this right. Watch it. Just watch yourself. Notice that that is the predominant thing is you holding tight is the thing that you're experiencing most. Anything else beyond that is very hard to even taste or feel or touch because we're so concerned with the holding on tight. And then I want you to just let it go. Seriously, this month, Physically, when we release tension from our bodies, it helps us spiritually and mentally, right? So if you can find, if you have anything where it helps you to just release the tension, deep belly breaths is a great one. Um, stretching is a great one. Walking is a great one. Jumping on a rebounder. Three of pentacles came out. Let go of where you're trying to hold the whole world together, where you're trying to hold together every single project and idea. Two of pentacles. All right, we are in pentacles land here this month, apparently. Um, let go. Let go of that, that tightness when you notice it. Practice noticing it and letting go a little bit, right? Because we want to lean into this transformative energy for Leos. We want to lean into the wave here because this wave is trying to get us to kind of loosen up a little bit so that we can be present for the new energies that are here in 2022. It's a very different energetic map than it was a year ago, two years ago, even six months ago. It's very different. And because of that, we need to kind of shake, literally shake the energy from the last couple of years out of our system. Nine of swords, this card, I tell you what people, it has been showing up in the March readings. Like you would not believe there's like a handful of cards that have been showing up and nine of swords is one of them. I'm gonna pull a final card from my Oracle of the Hidden Worlds deck. I love this deck. It is just so Piscean and so mystical, very beautiful. Aurora Garden, oh, I love this one. I love this one. Uh, beginning initiate origin. Yes. Yes. And that's the thing too. I haven't even gotten to Aries season and the equinox. So we go through this really profound, powerful, like ocean wave cleansing release, let go energy of Pisces season. And then we have the equinox. The sun moves into Aries where it is exalted. It is happy. Aries season is a special time of year. Um, it, and for Leo's, this just amplifies everything. This is about play. This is about expanding our vision. This is about starting to think of new ideas outside, like the little bubble of where our heads have been in the past couple of years. And it's going to start to, I mean, things are going to open up in a way that you do not expect places and ways that you didn't see coming. So let's get into these cards because I think it speaks to some of this. So we start right away with Three of Pentacles. <laughs> and I love this card because this is about communion and connection. This is about creating with others and how that can help us actually be more ourselves and give more of ourselves and get to share our creativity and our voices in new and beautiful ways. And what I love about Three of Pentacles is this is not about isolation. This is not about having that sense of control and like needing to have everything perfect. It's about welcoming in those, you know, one, two, three people who really get your process and who really love you and who really understand you and who really work really well with you and you communing with those people and finding possibly even new community, right? New friendships, new conversations, new little connective points that really mean a lot to you. So Three of Pentacles is about opening up a little bit and allowing ourselves to be seen and to share our gifts and allow others to share their gifts and help us out. So receiving help and not feeling like you have to do everything alone. Now, this is also interesting about this month because 
two of pentacles and nine of swords on the on the uh, tarot front this is really interesting because this is about a sense of uncertainty and worry right these two together two of pentacles is like weighing out a path what should i do should i be myself should i pretend i'm not <laughs> should i do the thing that i really want to be doing or should i do the thing that's expected of me that's the kind of internal struggle the nine of swords is about the fear that we're not good enough that we're not going to make it through that we haven't had enough control that that we're missing an ingredient, that it's embarrassing to be us. It's that worried voice that's so concerned, often attached to a young version of ourselves that had a hard time in life, right? And when these cards show up, for me, this is about being nervous because you're sharing something true of yourself. You're on the verge of doing something new, something that feels really personal, it feels really vulnerable, or just being a beginner at something. And there's this part of you that just wants to pull back. Hide, hide, quick, hide. We're about to be seen, right? And this is often a series of emotions that come up when we're starting something new. Um, you know, like starting a new class or uh, moving to a new place or starting a new job, there's a part of us that's like, I made a big mistake. I wish I had just stayed with what I knew how to do. I wish I had just like kept my mouth shut and just now I'm going to have to go out on this stage and do this thing. And why did I ever think about doing that? These cards are often denoting that we are having to use our courage um, and our heart, that Leo heart energy to go and shine. And I think it's such a natural, natural thing. So these cards are about that. Now, the two of pentacles is important when it shows up because it's about, like I said, weighing out, doing the thing that feels true and beautiful to us versus doing the thing, wearing the hats that we're expected to wear because people are used to us doing things a certain way. And the two of pentacles is always a reminder that we can't wear every hat. We can't keep the world together. We can't keep the world on balance by ourselves and like holding it all together. We have to let go of that illusion that we're going to somehow be everything to everybody and fix everything all the time in order to pick up the pentacle, pick up the thing that is true and natural to us, that flows through us, and to follow that. And Nine of Swords, when I'm working with Nine of Swords energy, I just want to remind you that we often want to just kind of like <laughs> crush the Nine of Swords part of ourselves under the wheels of our forward progress and just kind of ignore it, push it to the side, not important. But Nine of Swords is important because we want to just hear the part of ourselves that is afraid and is trying to protect us and is trying to think of all the what ifs. We want to take care of that part of ourselves. We can hear it. We can let it be written down in a journal and it takes away some of the power that it initially seems that it has um, in the journey. Because if we don't listen to it, we let it be like a subconscious track in our mind that's just playing and talking to us all day. It has a lot more power than when we listen to it. We say, oh, sweetie, I love you. Come here. I'm going to give you a big hug. We got this. So just a reminder on that. Now, Aurora Garden, this card... Look at that. Is about beginnings, right? It's a it's a the number 10 in this oracle deck and the keywords here are beginning, initiate and origin and you can see there's there's a temple here with the gateway that you're walking through. And I think, you know, with the equinox at the beginning of Aries season with uh, beginning to a new Western astrological year. Leo, it is it is going to be about just stepping through that door, even though it might make you really nervous. It might give you a stomach ache. And I know it can be kind of tricky sometimes that differentiating between like um, nerves because it's something you really love and you really want to be doing and like a gut sense that something's off and you need to get away because those two things, you know, they can get really confusing, especially if you're really nervous about something that really matters to you it can get a little confusing. Um, but you want to listen in for if you are feeling just pure agitation, panic, and like you're not at peace, you're not at rest. 
And if you are, or if you are at peace and are at rest, you know, ask yourself, what is true in this moment? What is a true statement I can say? Like in this recent move, you know, I had a few times where I'm like, I could just, I could just stay with like my tight knit group of friends and my support system and all the familiarity, like that would be fine. Like, Maybe that's what I should do, (laughs) you know, I was having like last minute stress because it's like my physical animal body is like, what are we doing here? Why are we rearranging everything? Excuse me. But then I sat down and I thought about what, what can I say is true right now? And I remember feeling there was one sentence that kept coming up, which was, I need to go do this. This is mine to go do. And I just know it. So I can have all these other like thoughts, worries, fears, you know, like nervousness. My body could be feeling nervous. You know, I could be feeling overwhelmed or stressed or tired. But like that statement was so true. And I just knew it was true. And every time I said it, I would calm down and my body would relax. So check in with yourself about what statements feel true. And that, Um, and just see what statements want to come up that feel true. Right. And when you feel that sense of relaxation and that sense of like, oh, you'll be able to tell what is what much more easily because you are being asked to walk through a door, Leo, you are being asked to start showing a different aspect of yourself and to begin some new journeys and begin some new adventures and to make some new projects. And that can be scary, right? It can, it can make you that little inner worried child just like want to come out, grab you, hug you, (laughs) put you in the bed, get you back home. Um, But this is about reigniting that Leonine heart and letting it play in the world. And don't we just need that playful Leo energy at this point in time? You know, we don't have energy moving through Leo on, on the big spectrum or in any during this month and during the next several months like we don't have that so leos we gotta fill the world with some of that energy right and we can't let um all that weight from the last couple of years all those worries all those jitters hold us so we want to use pisces season to help us release and shake off some of the physical tension we want to open our hearts we want to listen in for those very true statements those core statements that when we say them they our bodies relax we want to walk through those doorways that represent whatever those true statements are and we want to trust ourselves more those are the things that we're going to do this month all right no small order but i think we can do it there's a lot of support for you here Um, and things are simpler than they may appear at first glance so don't give yourself too much of a hard time Um, i have so much more i wanted to cover (laughs) in this march because there's a ton of conjunctions conversations and on my patreon i'm able to do that because every single week we go through every single transit what's going on we do a tarot reading we do an astrological chat so i'd love to see you there um, you can also find me on my instagram there's only one true sarah verba so don't let the scammers fool you i will leave my handle so you know where to find me um, and you can also find me on my website and my email i'd love for you to stick around hang out Let me know, Leos, how you are doing, what big doorways you are going through, um, what big transitions, transformations you are going through. I love you so much. I'll see you in our next chat and have a beautiful March, my friends. Mm